Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. This is a check on audio for the stream. Check, check. One, two. One, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Three, two, one. This is a check on audio for the stream. So we are checking to see if it is as bad as it was last time. Three, two, one, one, two, three. Three, two, one, one, two, three. One, two, three. Oh, sounds good. All right. That's awesome. Thank you, guys.
Hello everybody, welcome back to Utah Valley Men's Basketball. Brandon Crow with you, thank you for joining us tonight. Tonight's matchup between the visiting Westminster Griffins coming down from Salt Lake City, a Division II opponent led by Coach Norm Parrish. Last week, the Griffins had a rough one out against BYU, and they're looking to rebound tonight as they have their own start to their conference in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference this weekend. But on the other hand, Utah Valley looking for their second win on this season. Last week, Utah Valley defeated Adam State at home on Thanksgiving and then suffered a tough road loss at BYU. It's tip-off next, right here on the WAC Digital Network. I know we all want this COVID thing to end, and it will. The restrictions in place now won't last forever. Smart people are figuring out how to get vaccines to everyone, but it will take a little longer. Until then, we need to recommit and finish strong. COVID won't stop spreading on its own. We have to stop spreading it. Meet with friends outside, social distance, and most of all, wear a mask. We're all in. Are you? At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval before you start shopping. Your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. At Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born, emergencies continue to happen, and doctor visits are still needed. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please don't put off the care you need, especially for stroke like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit intermountainhealthcare.org slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. Right next to UVU, Wolverine Crossing is the premier award-winning student property in Orem. With renovations of nearly $5 million, Wolverine Crossing has the look and feel of luxury living, including contemporary upgrades and top-tier amenities. Wolverine Crossing supports a strong academic environment, whether you're on campus or remote, and the resident assistant program is nationally recognized, so safety and support is the top priority. Please now get half off your November rent. Wolverine Crossing, this is home. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place. With live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions. With exclusive access. You ready to go? Yeah. Let's have some fun. And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. Hello everybody and welcome to the UCCU Center on the campus of Utah Valley University. I waited a long time to say that. Welcome back to Utah Valley men's basketball. Tonight, the Westminster Griffins, the visiting opponent from up in Salt Lake. The Division II opponent led by Coach Norm Parrish come into the UCCU Center. 
Right now at the tip-off, Brandon Willardson and Dawes Amac. Dawes Amac wins it for the Wolverines. Wolverines, as you see it on the screen, going from left to right in their home whites with the green trim. And the Griffins will be going the opposite way with their gold and purple. Maybe dark purple, light bluish. Trey Woodbury going straight to work, driving. They're going to call him off with the offensive foul. A little chicken wing action. Trey Woodbury, who last week just exploded for Utah Valley in the first two games of the season, averaging over 20 points per game, two career highs back-to-back. -back. Looking for some more explosive action from number four for the Wolverines, along with his teammate J.J. Overton, number 22. Now the Griffins go to work. Banks. Good ball distribution now for Westminster. Missed three-pointer by Torbert. And here comes J.J. Overton looking for a big fella. Dawes Amac in the post. Double team, triple teamed even. Wide open look. The trades Arthur gets Utah Valley going. Three-nothing Wolverines. Starting on the floor, you're starting five for Westminster. Taylor Miller, Isaiah Banks, Remy Torbert, Brandon Willardson, and Joey Andrews. And on the defensive side right now for Utah Valley, Darthard, Neald, Woodbury, Amac, and Overton. 12 on the clock. Nice move in the post. Kiss off the glass for Joey Andrews. Does Amac. Blaze Neal drives, kicks out to J.J. Overton. That's his favorite spot. Ball deflected, tipped away. J.J. Overton lucky not to get a foul call. And solid defense there from Neal on the other side. Excuse me, Darthard. And that was tipped out of play. Utah Valley fired up, looking for their second win on the season. Split last week at home on Thanksgiving against Adams State, a game that was... A crazy schedule, scrapping and mix-up between Stanford as that errant pass goes out and actually hits the referee. Utah Valley, as you know, scheduled to play at Coach Mark Madsen's alma mater at Stanford in Palo Alto, and that game got scrapped due to COVID-19. Adam State was in the neighborhood and was able to come down and play Utah Valley Thanksgiving morning. And the Wolverines traveled down to Provo to take on BYU on Saturday. Lost that one. And Westminster lost to the Cougars as well last week. Dawes Amac inside, and that's just a great combination. Dawes Amac to Trey Woodbury. 5-2, Wolverines on top early. Less than 18 to play. And Woodbury again showing off his defensive prowess, getting his hands on that. Wide open three-pointer from Joey Andrews in the corner, ties things up. This is the last tune-up game for Westminster before they get ready for their RMAC conference this weekend. Defensive foul against the Griffins. That's going to go against Willardson. The redshirt senior out of Richfield. Neal to inbound, throws it right off the back. Gets the and one. Caught Brandon Willardson sleeping. That's old school. That's great stuff. That's what you love to see right there. Some savvy play from Blaze Neal. Got the defender sleeping. Bounced it off his back. Got the ball, laid it up and in, and gets the foul. Neal misses the three-point play opportunity. 7-5, Wolverines on top. Nice drive. Trying to go Air Jordan was Taylor Miller. Got enough of it more than I could do. It counts 7-7, no, seven seven, seven, none the same. Woodbury down low. Amac doing work with the touch. Big fella. 9-7. Westminster trailing by two. Good ball movement so far. And a nice take with the foul from behind to boot. 
Joey Andrews, after hitting the three-pointer in the corner, comes back, gets a foul, an opportunity for a three-point play. And our first substitution coming in tonight for Wolverines. Asa McCord coming in for Trey Woodbury. Asa McCord, the six foot six junior out of Saratoga Springs, Utah, courtesy of Solid Community College. Meanwhile, Andrews makes the free throw for Westminster's first lead of the ball game, 10-9. And another giveaway by Utah Valley. Here come the Griffins. Fast break opportunity here. And that one's missed. Dawes Amak gobbled that up. Blaze Neal surveys. Asa McCord, first touch from the corner. Comes up short. Dawes Amak can't get a hold of it for Utah Valley. Rebound goes to Westminster and the Griffins pushing it up court with tempo. Wide open look. Johnson misses. Blaze Neal listens to Coach Madsen, tones it down a little bit. Wolverines trail by one. Darthard. Amac, now to Neal. Darthard in the corner. That one too strong. Griffin's in transition, looking very. Oh, here comes J.J. Overton. Look out. Two-handed jam from J.J. Overton. Jam Master J. J.J. Overton showing off his athleticism. Last week earned the number five spot in the Sports Center top ten for his 360 dunk. J.J. Overton gets his hand on that jump shot there from Banks. Here comes Neal. Amac keeps it. McCord. Neal with the man in his face. Yes, sir. 14 to 10, Utah Valley. Despite not really having very many fans in the crowd, there is an electricity here in UCCU Center in this game. A lot of energy between both of these teams. It's fun to see. It's good to be back in the saddle with college basketball. Westminster misses that three. Comes up short. Here comes Utah Valley. Neal with the 360 in treble. Back to Overton. Darthard. Back to Overton. Now Neal again. Down low to Amac. Amac has position. Kicks it back out to Darthard. Darthard gets called for an offensive foul. And that'll take us to our first media timeout. Utah Valley on top, 14 to 10. We're just getting started here at the UCCU Center on the WAC Digital Network. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval before you start shopping. Your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. Free. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. Utah Valley on top of Westminster, 14-10. 
And as we mentioned before, J.J. Overton was on the Sports Center Top 10 last week, number five. I could tell right there he was thinking about what kind of dunk he wanted to do. Last week it was a 360. This time it was just a straight old school two-handed man jam. Utah Valley trying to continue that swag into that timeout. And propel a bigger lead here. But Westminster not going down without a fight. Don't let that box score against BYU last week fool you. They do have some shooters and some talent on this team. And they will be a force in the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference. And speaking with Coach Norm Parrish earlier this week, he said that really up until last week they hadn't even had a full practice together as a full team due to COVID-19. So it's just wreaking havoc on everybody in every sport. And uh, like we said, we're just grateful to be here calling a basketball game between two teams here tonight. And again, we thank you for joining us. Again, the Griffins in their gold. Going up against the Wolverines in their white. Ten on the clock for the Griffins. Eight. Six. Got to put the ball up. Solid defense here by Utah Valley, and they force a travel. Jared Jordan, guilty party. Wolverines with the 14-10. Lead over the Griffins. J.J. Overton, top of the key, shakes and bakes, kicks it back out. Dart third. Nice rebound there by Amac. Amac give and go. Asa McCord in the paint for the finish. 16 to 10, Wolverines on top. Jordan being pestered. Johnson to Torbert. Torbert cuts back, back to Johnson. Johnson puts the ball on the floor, trying to go against Amac, and he puts it off the glass and in. Take the contact, Johnson. Nice play for Westminster, 16-12. Wolverines with the four-point advantage. McClanahan. Tiptoes the baseline is Darthurd. J.J. Overton with that left-handed stroke. Bottoms up. J.J. Overton again just showing like he's poised to have another 20-plus point night tonight. Had two career highs back-to-back -back last week. Adam State, 22 points, and then 24-point career high against BYU as the Griffins get charged with the foul. And checking into the game for Dawes Amac, Trey Farr for Utah Valley. McClanahan past the timeline. McCord, Darthard, J.J. Overton. Sees a crease, drives, kids the contact, doesn't get it to go, and they're going to call another offensive foul. This one on Trey Farr. And we'll take another media timeout. Wolverine still on top by seven here in Orem, Utah. You're watching the WAC Digital Network. Right next to UVU, Wolverine Crossing is the premier award-winning student property in Orem. With renovations of nearly $5 million, Wolverine Crossing has the look and feel of luxury living, including contemporary upgrades and top-tier amenities. Wolverine Crossing supports a strong academic environment, whether you're on campus or remote, and the resident assistant program is nationally recognized, so safety and support is the top priority. Please now get half off your November rent. Wolverine Crossing, this is home. The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access. Ready to go? Yeah. And highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app.
Coming out of that under-12 media timeout, Utah Valley with a seven-point lead over Westminster, 19-12. to Brandon Crow with you here on the WAC Digital Network. Thank you for letting us be a part of your Wednesday evening, however and wherever you're joining us. J.J. Overton gets another hand on it. Ooh! J.J. Overton, Jam Master J, get out of his way. More pesky Utah Valley defense. McClanahan takes the contact. No fouls called. And last touch by Utah Valley. As we'll take another look, J.J. Overton with the steal. Chandling his inner Kobe Bryant with the pump fake. You cannot help but watch J.J. Overton play and not have a smile on your face. Westminster trying to respond here. 21-12, the Griffins trail. And that one's thrown right into the hands of Darthard. Darthard, are they going to count it? Coach Madsen's asking for it. Referees haven't signified yet. And so that foul will go against Branson Blackner. Bucket does not count. So the Wolverines with 27 on the shot clock. And there's a three in the corner from Darthur. Some scores from around the WAC as we keep our eye on the conference. Tarleton, the brand new addition, as Westminster responds with a nice kiss off the glass from Andrews. Tarleton right now on top of the Aggies of Texas A&M, 42-32 in the second half with 13-13 left. Asa McCord with the big deep three. That one comes up short. And they're going to call a foul on Westminster. And that one's going to go against Joey Andrews. That'll be his first personal. This is Utah Valley's third game already. Speaking of the WAC, Seattle U has already had four. Looking to play their fifth and sixth here pretty soon. Utah Valley again just grateful to be able to play. Ten seconds left on the shot clock. McClanahan's got to make a move. He darts. Ball is tipped. Goes out of play with five seconds on the shot clock for the Wolverines. Utah Valley still on top with a ten-point lead. 24-14. Ten and some change to play in the first half. Far gets it, four, three, teardrop floater, counts if it goes. Darthard gets his own rebound. McClanahan in the corner, back to Darthard. McClanahan now with 10 on the shot clock. Sizes up his shot. Left-handed teardrop fake. Darthard there with the alley-oop, the accidental oop. 26-14, Wolverines on top. And Latre Darthur gets called for the foul for the Wolverines. Blaze Neal comes in for Latre Darthur. Inbounding for the Griffins, Blackner looking for some help. Gets to Andrews, now to Miller. Comes off the screen, draws the contact, no shot. And that's going to go against Jaden McClanahan. And Remy Torbert coming into the game for Jared Jordan for the Griffins. Blackner in the corner, Miller. Andrew. Blackner again. Blackner with the pump fake, sees a lane, kicks it back out. Pump fake, nice move. Teardrop floater, doesn't go. Rebounded by the Griffins. They can't put it up and in. Ryan Bell had an opportunity to get two more points for Westminster and missed it. 
Now McClanahan and Utah Valley on the counter. Far. McClanahan from the top of the key. That one rims off to the left. And big fella Daz Amax set to come in for the Wolverines at the next whistle. 26-14, Utah Valley on top. And another offensive foul. Turnovers have been the plague so far for Westminster in this first half. Amac comes in for far. And also quickly checking in is Braden Johnson for Ryan Bell for Westminster. McClanahan kneeled. Amac. Amac, nice pass. Maybe a little bit too selfless. In transition, Westminster wants a three. They don't get it. Amac with another rebound. Blaze Neal pushing it up the court for Wolverines. JJ Overton kicks it out. McClanahan. Yes. 29-14, Jaden McClenahan tacks on three more. Pesky hands from the defense. Four on two for Utah Valley. Jamison Overton in your face. The whistle blows. The full timeout called. Westminster needs a chance to breathe. 31-14, we'll be back after this. And I'm Ben. November brings the Murdoch Season of Giving event. This season receives 0% for 72 months on a Tucson, Santa Fe, and Sonata. And with every new vehicle purchase, receive a $250 holiday gift card to shop local. You've got to come and see us online at MurdochHyundai.com. At Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born. Emergencies continue to happen. And doctor visits are still needed. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please, don't put off the care you need, especially for stroke-like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit IntermountainHealthCare.org slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. The latest from KSL 5 News, including breaking news as it happens, and all your favorite KSL shows, ready to watch anytime. Download the free KSL app right now on all your favorite devices. Welcome back to the UCCU Center, where Utah Valley is on top of Westminster, 31-14, less than eight to play in the first half. Brandon Crow with you here. Thank you for letting us be a part of your evening here on the WAC Digital Network. And uh, the WAC Digital Network is also available on Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, and Roku TV as well. And we also want to welcome those who are watching on our streaming YouTube channel at GoUVU, KSL TV app as well. Griffins again in their gold and purple. Utah Valley in their home white and green. Nice teardrop floater there from Taylor Miller. Trey Woodbury now back into the game for the Wolverines. Asa McCord puts it on the floor. Miscommunication there between him and Dawes Amak. Taylor Miller steps off for a quick breather for the Griffins. And Jared Jordan checks back into the game. About seven minutes to play here in the first half. Westminster... And another offensive foul as Blaze Neal goes to the floor. This one is going to go against Dominic Cervantes for the Griffins. 
his first personal. Seventh team foul for Westminster. Good look at Coach Mark Madsen in his second year at head coach. Trey Woodbury now plays Neal with a wide open look. That one did not look good the moment it left his hand. See if Westminster can carve out a little bit more of this Utah Valley lead here. Nice behind the back bounce pass. Good ball movement on the outside by the Griffins. Blaze Neal really intensifying his defense here. A couple Wolverines collide. They missed the rebound. Westminster gets it. And they missed the, the bank shot. Remy Torber was trying to take on four Utah Valley defenders. And J.J. Overton coming back in for the Wolverines. Banks gets it in quickly. Torbert. Dawes Amak trying to provide some defense here. And a travel is called against Braden Johnson for Westminster. Trey Woodbury inbound to Jaden McClanahan. Six minutes left to play in the first half. Wolverines on top, 31-16, looking to add some more. J.J. Overton already with a couple Sports Center highlight type dunks. What else does he have over in the corner? Dawes Amack with the rebound. Amack calling for some help. There's another look. This time it goes in. Three-pointer for Colby Leeson. Now the Wolverines trying to come back on defense. And a foul is called away from the, excuse me, across the court from the opposing official. Isaiah Banks now goes to the line to shoot as Asa McCord checks in for Utah Valley. Isaiah Banks, junior guard, gets a couple shooters' touches, falls in out of Las Vegas, Nevada, prior to Centennial High School, in Casper Community College. And he gets both. McCord to Leafson. J.J. Overton in the paint. Nice spin move. Levitates and lays it in. J.J. Overton is a complete man possessed. An absolute different beast from last year. It's going to give the rest of the team's Wolverines play. Fitz. Ten seconds left on the court. Nice cross-court pass. Comes up short by the Griffins. Nice rebound by Colby Leafson in Utah Valley. Now McClanahan. Top of the key. McCord. Leafson in the corner. J.J. Overton with 16 on the clock. Now Leafson with the man in his face. Comes up short. Nobody home to rebound for the Wolverines. And the Griffins have it. Thirty-six, eighteen. Little over four minutes to play in the first half. Andrews looking for some help. A deep three-pointer for Westminster rims off short from Jared Jordan. McClanahan with the ball for Utah Valley. Leafson, McCord, Overton, 
Amac with the turnaround jump hook, no good. Rebounded by Banks and Westminster. Deep three-pointer from Westminster. Remy Torbert finally cashes in. It's about three minutes without any scoring for Westminster. 36-21, Utah Valley on top still with 3.30 left to play in the first half. Overton gets contact, and they're going to call an offensive foul on J.J. Overton. Trying to split some defenders. Goes one versus three, and the whistle's called, and he's going to try and speak his piece with the official, trying to see where he's coming from. Nevertheless, we'll take a break. Utah Valley on top, 36-21 on the WAC Digital Network. We can stand together by standing far apart. Stay six feet apart from other people. Wear your mask when you go out. Wash your hands, often. If you feel sick, stay home. Be respectful of others. The choices you make are critical. By protecting yourself, it helps protect all of us. Your actions can save lives. What we do now will shape our future. Stay, stay safe. safe. Join the Wolverine Club, a simple message with a major impact. Finds the back of the net for the Wolverines. Support student athletes like former Utah Valley University women's soccer star, graduate, and Rhodes Scholar finalist, Hannah Bruce. Not only is Hannah the first UVU student athlete to be a Rhodes Scholar finalist, she is currently studying to earn a master's degree in neuroscience at the renowned University of Oxford in England. Support the next Wolverine Rhodes Scholar finalist by joining the Wolverine Club today. Welcome back to Orm, Utah, on a fantastic, almost winter. Is it winter officially yet? Depends on where you are. Here in Utah, it's been winter for a couple months, I guess. Winter Wednesday evening, 36-21, Utah Valley on top. 3-12 left here in the first half. I know we were trying to give you guys some updates with some wax scores. Right now, Tarleton just barely on top of Texas A&M with about nine minutes left. 44-41. And Utah Valley been all over Westminster tonight. BYU lost yesterday. Again, regional scores. They lost to USC big. So we'll see how that plays out. Again, Westminster and Utah Valley. Westminster on the fast break, coming from behind, making the defensive stop, Colby Leafson. Jaden McClanahan comes back in. Andrews, 23 on the clock. Now Banks. Andrews again with the kiss off the glass. 36, 23. McCord. Neald, McClanahan, 10 on the shot clock for the Wolverines. Blaze Neald. Now to Overton. Overton steps into a long three-pointer, comes up short. Taylor Miller 
and company for Westminster with a little over a minute 30 left in the first half, trying to continue to chip away at this Utah Valley lead. Outlet pass intercepted and out of play by Westminster. As of right now, Utah Valley scheduled to play at the University of Utah in a couple weeks, and right now Utah is set to, to play Washington. Basketball, U BYU beat St. John's today 74-68. Montana and Southern Utah, a couple teams to look out for as well. And we'll let you know those scores as Utah Valley set to take on Southern Utah next Wednesday. And Dawes Amek joins the party. 38-23. Utah Valley again only having... Only this being their third game so far of the season. Still trying to figure out, the coaches, what teammates work best with what patterns. Nice give and go. J.J. Overton with the Rice reverse layup. McClanahan, no look pass. 40-23. So far, we definitely know what McClanahan, J.J. Overton, Trey Woodbury, and Dawes Amac can bring. Amac with the rebound. McCord and McClanahan. About a 12-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. And right about now is when McClanahan's going to try and make his move. Six on the shot clock. McClanahan shaking, bakes his defender, and misses the shot. His whole team got up off the bench on that one, wanted to celebrate. Couldn't get the touch. Westminster with the shot clock turned off. Game clock, 15 seconds left here in the first half. Coach Madsen again making sure his team does not want to foul. Andrew driving down the lane and gets fouled. A little less than eight seconds left. Joey Andrews, the junior guard. From Bluffdale, Utah. About 20 minutes north of Orem, Utah. It's about 25, give or take, with traffic south of Salt Lake City. And he makes his free throw. 40-24. See if Utah Valley can tack on a couple more points before the buzzer sounds in the first half. McClenahan picks it up. Seven seconds left. J.J. Overton now with four, with three. Stops and pops from the free throw line. Gets the touch. And that's how the first half will end. A big smile on J.J. Overton's face. And he'll take it. So will Utah Valley. Coach Madsen and his teammates, 42-25. to 25. Pretty impressive First half there from Utah Valley. Westminster is well showing up. 25 points. Don't let that score fool you. Westminster had some spurts as well. Torbert, Banks, Joey Andrews leading the way for Westminster. And we'll take a break. Halftime here in Orem, Utah. 42-25. Wolverines on top. what they could be if the plastic we use we never throw away it's the end of one thing could be the beginning of the next if 
we know that less can create more. If we can return, we reciprocate, we regenerate. If we are here for others, if we can work as a team, all we have to do is connect, and the world opens up. The future is about giving back. Listen to those voices, where well, you can leave them all speechless. But the key component there is you. Here at Intermountain Healthcare, our doctors have experience treating young athletes, professional athletes, and the athlete next door. We treat everyday injuries, sports injuries, concussions, total joint replacements, and everything in between. Come visit our board certified physicians and surgeons here at Intermountain Healthcare's Utah Valley Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Clinic. We're committed to keeping you moving. Some people see just another local Utah sports app. Oh, wait, what? A local Utah sports app? Introducing the new KSL sports app, powered by kslsports.com. Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love. The latest news, insider analysis, podcasts from the pros, and so much more. Free, available right now, anywhere you are. Download the free KSL sports app today from your favorite app store. Join the Wolverine Club, a simple message with a major impact. Finds the back of the net for the Wolverines. Support student athletes like former Utah Valley University women's soccer star, graduate, and Rhodes Scholar finalist, Hannah Bruce. Not only is Hannah the first UVU student athlete to be a Rhodes Scholar finalist, she is currently studying to earn a master's degree in neuroscience at the renowned University of Oxford in England. Support the next Wolverine Road Scholar finalist by joining the Wolverine Club today. Hi, I'm Blake. And I'm Ben. Start your holidays at the Murdoch Season of Giving event. With every new vehicle purchase, customers receive a $250 holiday VIP gift card to Utah's locally owned Al Sporting Goods. In the spirit of giving, a portion of each sale is being donated to Utah Foster Care during the holidays. As the saying goes, it's always better to give than receive. This month, Murdoch Hyundai is giving our customers 0% for 72 months on the Tucson, Santa Fe, and Sonata, plus $1,000 bonus cash or no payments until April 2021. You've got to come and see us online at MurdochHyundai.com. We can stand together by standing far apart. Stay six feet apart from other people. Wear your mask when you go out. Wash your hands, often. If you feel sick, stay home. Be respectful of others. The choices you make are critical. By protecting yourself, it helps protect all of us. Your actions can save lives. What we do now 
will shape our future. Stay safe. Label me. You know you want to. Don't be shy. You do it behind my back. So say it to my face. face. You don't know me. You know what I am? I'm a pitcher. I'm a striker. I'm a point guard. I'm a linebacker. I'm a setter. Shortstop. High jumper. Wrestler. Defender. Goalie. Student. Student athletes. That's who we are. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. You'll receive an instant pre-approval before you start shopping. Your completed mortgage file will be underwritten by UCCU's very own in-house professionals. Like us. Seriously fast. Buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Who am I? And furthermore, what do I want? What makes you itch? That's the most important investigation anyone can make. But you don't find this out until you investigate it. So I always ask the question, what would you like to do if money were no object? How would you really enjoy spending your life? Because if you say that money is the most important thing, you will spend your life completely wasting your time. Forget the money. After all, if you do really like what you're doing, you can eventually become a master of it. And then you'll be able to get a good fee for whatever it is. Therefore, it's so important to consider this question. What do I desire? The road to national championships runs through NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. And whether you follow one college team or all of them, it's never been easier to get the content you want all in one place with live broadcasts of multiple championships across all divisions with exclusive access Ready to go? Yeah. It's out the and highlights for every single championship. Stay in the game all season long with NCAA.com and the NCAA Sports app. At Intermountain Healthcare, we understand that broken arms haven't stopped. Babies continue to be born, emergencies continue to happen, and doctor visits are still needed. At Intermountain Healthcare, we've put the measures in place to safely care for you in these difficult times. So please, don't put off the care you need, especially for stroke-like symptoms, chest pain, difficulty breathing, or other urgent care. We're here for you. Visit IntermountainHealthcare.org slash here for you to learn how to get the care you need. I love this view. I love that every time this commercial airs, I get to drink another Mountain Dew. At 
UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. And buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. Never fly. Welcome back to the UCCU Center on the campus of Utah Valley University. Brandon Crow with you. Thank you for letting us be a part of your Wednesday evening. However, wherever you're joining us, whether it be the WAC Digital Network, the Go U View YouTube stream, or on the KSL TV app as well, thank you. Utah Valley on top, 42 to 25 over Westminster. Utah Valley in the first half shot 56% from the field, 40% from three-point land, and they didn't even make a free throw. They only had one. Jamison Overton missed a chance for a three-point play. Uh, Utah Valley had nine turnovers to Westminster's 13, and Utah Valley edging out Westminster as far as rebounds go, 16-13. to 13. Westminster only shooting 39%. J.J. Overton leading all scorers for Utah Valley with 15 points, seven of eight from the field, two rebounds, one assist. Dawes Amak with four points, eight rebounds, the trade Darthur, eight points, two rebounds. Blaze Neald with five points and three assists for Westminster. Joey Andrews with 14 points, four rebounds. He is perfect from the floor, five of five with one assist. Miller with four points. Torbert, three points. Bell with no points but two rebounds and an assist. And the Griffins again in their gold start the second half off with the ball. Dawes Amak, popcorn bouncing all around, finally gets it in the hands of J.J. Overton. Back to Blaze Neal for Utah Valley. Trey Darthur calling out the shots. Trey Woodbury top of the key. Yes, sir. Woodbury starts off the second half with the bang. 45-25, 20-point lead for the Wolverines. Andrews again, Banks, Miller, drives, stops, pops, floats, no good. 
Blaze kneeled. Pulls it back. Woodbury to Overton. Darthard. J.J. Overton just inside the three-point line. Rims out. Nice transition three-point opportunity there. Missed by Torbert. Rebounded by Amac in Utah Valley. Blaze Neal very cautiously coming across that timeline. Darthard, Woodbury, back to Neal again. Amac. Ten on the clock. Neal with six. Overton with five. Four. J.J. Overton, no good. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Dawes Amac. And a substitution coming in for the Griffins. Jared Jordan checks back into the game. And Taylor Miller will have a seat. 45-25, a little over 18 left to play here in regulation. Dawes Amac, one rebound away from double digits. J.J. Overton already in double digits. 17 points. Amac. Altered the shot, nice rebound by Westminster. Isaiah Banks doing the dirty work down low. Foul's going to go against J.J. Overton. That'll be his second personal foul. Isaiah Banks makes the free throw. And he makes the second as well. Banks now with three points on the evening. Darthur bounce pass to Woodbury. Woodbury puts it on the ground, slips, gets it out to Neal in the corner. That one rims out. Andrew with the rebound. Pushes it up to Banks. Banks drives, stops, kicks it back out to Andrew. Jordan drives, no shots. J.J. Overton with his third foul. And promptly, J.J. Overton will take a seat. Jade McClanahan checks in for Overton. Very interested to see how Coach Madsen approaches the second half here for Utah Valley. This is the only game that they have scheduled so far this, this week. They have two home games next week. As McClanahan gets called for the foul. Utah Valley a week from now is set to host Southern Utah. And then next Saturday a big game against Wyoming. And I do know that there are a couple players due to COVID who are not playing that we should be able to see them next week. And a travel is called. Trey Woodbury got bailed out. Traveling violation against Joey Andrews. I know Coach Madsen wants to make sure his team gets all the minutes that they can without putting too much strain on the squad. 45-27 Wolverines again on top. A little over 16 left to play in the game. Woodbury in the post. Stops, pops. That's high percentage from Trey Woodbury. Woodbury put a lot of work in in the offseason. Looks a lot stronger. Jordan with the step back three-pointer. Jared Jordan wearing the 2-3 and representing. 47-30. A 
McClanahan, top of the key. Head fake, drives in the post, kicks it back out. Woodbury open for three. Misses. Andrews with the rebound. Now Jordan for Westminster. Down low to Willardson. Back top for Jordan, excuse me, for Andrews, and he misses. Down low to Amac. Amac. And one for the big fella. Beautiful outlet pass. Quarterback style from Trey Woodbury. Nice hands from the big man. Caught it, put it up and in, drew the contact, and that'll take us to an under-16 media timeout, 49-30. Wolverines on top here in Orm, Utah. How does Costa Vida create the ultimate sweet pork burrito? We start by following our award-winning recipe, one that calls for everything to be made fresh from scratch every day like our beautifully braised pork, seasoned beans, savory sauces, and delicious cilantro lime rice. Even our tortillas are cooked to order. It's a difference you can taste. Treat yourself to the ultimate sweet pork burrito, only at Costa Vida. Predicting Utah's diverse weather, it takes an experienced team passionate about putting you in the know before you go. It takes the KSL Weather Specialists. Weather made special. A little throwback Wednesdays from Run DMC. It's tricky. And right now it's been tricky for Westminster tonight. They trail 49-30 to Utah Valley. Again, J.J. Overton leading all scorers with 15 points for the Wolverines. And the big fella at the charity stripe, Dawes Amac, looking for point number seven. He already has 10 rebounds on the evening. And it comes up short. Still plenty of time for the big fella to get another double-double. Last Thursday, Dawes Amac had 24.18 rebound performance. And that 18 rebounds was second most in a single game next to Bailey Steele in 2019 at BYU. Nice rebound there from Darthard. McClanahan turns right into Jordan. And they're going to call a foul on, on Jordan. Could have been a nasty collision. Taylor Miller comes in for Westminster. Woodbury, McClanahan, Amac, Darther, and Neeld on the floor for the Wolverines. Darther, Neeld, bounce pass to Amac. Amac, kiss off the glass too hard. And Andrews comes away with the big rebound for Westminster. Jordan, Banks, Miller. And Miller creates his own shot with the teardrop. Nice move on the baseline from Taylor Miller. Six points on the contest for the junior guard. And they're going to wave that off. No shot as McClanahan slithers past some defenders. Top of the key. Nice inlet pass to Dawes Amac. Beautiful inbound play. Big fella again coming up on that double-double mark. Now eight points for number 11. And then he gets his big paw on it to knock it out of bounds on the other side. Braden Johnson checks in for Brandon Willardson for the Griffins.
Jordan drives, creates the contact, and gets a nice spin and kiss off the glass. And Westminster has a, a nice fan section across the way. You can't see it on TV. Nice move from Darthard. Kicks it back out. Good ball movement. Blaze kneeled in the corner. Miller now to Andrews. Stops and pops. Big rebound there. Amac, number 11. Woodbury calling forward on the opposite side. Trying to do an alley oop. Scary play when two defenders go up underneath it like that. Andrews gets called for the foul. That's Andrews' third personal foul. And Trey Woodbury will go to the line to shoot two. Woodbury tonight, seven points, make that eight. Three of four from the floor. Only one of two from distance, and that's his first free throw tonight. He's got one rebound and two assists as well. And Blaze Neal will take a seat, and J.J. Overton checks back in. And Woodbury makes both. Banks, Jordan, nice bounce past the bell, Taylor almost had his hands on it, five seconds on the clock, four seconds for Westminster, has got to put it up, Banks, desperation, he draws the contact, draws a foul against J.J. Overton, he'll go to the line to shoot three, and I believe that's J.J. Overton's fourth personal. And Overton very visibly frustrated. And Asa McCord will check in for Utah Valley after the, the shot. As Banks makes the first of three. And Banks misses the second. That's his first missed free throw tonight. All of his points coming tonight off of the free throws. Two rebounds, three assists as well. Two out of three, so six points in total for Isaiah Banks. Fifty-three thirty-six, a little over thirteen left to play in the ball game. Utah Valley trying to clean up. Some sloppiness, Trey Woodbury. And a whistle is called on the floor. And I think this one's going to go against Ryan Bell for Westminster, his first personal. McClanahan inbounds. And Farr gets fouled. That foul goes against Westminster's Jared Jordan. Trey Farr, sophomore out of St. George, Utah, courtesy of Snow College. And Farr makes the free throw. Farr coming off the bench, 6'9", 235 frame, in addition to Dawes Amac, and then soon to see uh, Evan Cole with the 6'10", 230 frame. Will be a fun trio to see as Farr makes that free throw as well. Jordan over in the corner. That one missed by Miller. Ball still on the floor, picked up by Westminster. Miller... Thought about it, still has it, puts it on the floor again. Cross court pass to Banks, top of the key. Banks draws contact, too strong off the heel. Nice rebound by Utah Valley. No look pass there from Jaden McClanahan. Goes in between two of his teammates, right in between Farr and Woodbury. Fifty-three thirty-seven. 
55, 36, 12, 40 left to play. D3 missed by Westminster. Long three-pointer there from Bell. That one misses. One-handed rebound from Trey Woodbury in Utah Valley. Farr was calling for it in the post. Darthur, Woodbury, crisscross on top of the key. Woodbury stops, pops, misses, chases on rebound, couldn't get it. Now Banks has it, Westminster, and swatted away by Farr. And that takes us to our 12 media timeout. 55-36, Wolverines comfortably on top, looking to add some more when we come back on the WAC. Hi, I'm Blake. And I'm Ben. Start your holidays at the Murdoch Season of Giving event. With every new vehicle purchase, customers receive a $250 holiday VIP gift card to Utah's locally owned Al Sporting Goods. In the spirit of giving, a portion of each sale is being donated to Utah Foster Care during the holidays. As the saying goes, it's always better to give than receive. This month, Murdoch Hyundai is giving our customers 0% for 72 months on the Tucson, Santa Fe, and Sonata, plus a $1,000 bonus cash or no payments until April 2021. You've got to come and see us online at MurdochHyundai.com. UCCU is both a credit union and a full-service mortgage company. Which means that UCCU always provides the lowest rates and lower insurance premiums than other lenders. When your mortgage rate and insurance premium are lower, your monthly payment is also lower. It's just science. That's more money you can put into your home. Or back into your pocket. So if you're thinking about buying or refinancing a home, talk to us. The credit union that's been putting people over profits for over 60 years. It's what I do. It's what I do. It's what we do. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. I'm going to go out there and I'm going to leave it all on the mat because that's what I do when I get it done so I can do it. Yeah! I'm on a new level. I'm on a new level. Give your head a Mountain Dew kickstart. The Green Man Group staying alive during this crazy time, always keeping the UCCU center atmosphere vibing, as the kids say these days. Utah Valley vibing right now, 55-36 on top of Westminster. 12 minutes left to play in the game. Brandon Crow with you on the WAC Digital Network. KSL streaming app, go UVU YouTube page as well. Isaiah Banks for Westminster gets the ball in. Westminster trying to play spoiler. Crash this UVU party tonight. And we'll see who's going to get the foul. I think this one's going to go against Asa McCord for Utah Valley. Nice quick pass in from Banks to Jordan. Jordan drives, kisses off the glass. And little by little, Westminster still in the game, 55-38. McClanahan slips and falls, turns it over. And Dawes Amak comes in for Trey Farr. Checking in for Westminster is Brandon Willardson stepping off. Braden Johnson. Again, this Utah Valley team still, we have yet in the three games to see Utah Valley's full squad together. Again, they're missing three players. Tim Fuller, Evan Cole, Jordan Brinson as well. And they're going to call a foul. And this one is going to go against Jaden McClanahan. Joey Andrews at the free throw line. Andrews leading all scores for Westminster as he misses that free throw with 14 points on the evening. 5 of 7 from the floor, 1 of 3 from three point land, and that's his first missed free throw. Three of four, 75 percent. And he makes the second one. 
15 points for Andrews. 55-39, 11 minutes left to play in the game. Utah Valley on top. Dawes Amac, Jaden McClanahan. Wolverines trying to find some separation. And then another whistle down low. And this one's going to go against Taylor Miller for Westminster. Seventh Griffin's team foul. So here on out, it could get a little bit longer. And missed free throw there from Leafson. Nice hands there on the other side, Asa McCord. Asa McCord goes right at Andrews. Andrews thought he had all balled. Referee blows the whistle. And Asa McCord will go to the line to shoot. Asa McCord, the junior from Saratoga Springs, Utah. Misses the first free throw. McCord tonight, two points, one of three from the floor. But this is somebody that Coach Madsen and his staff are very optimistic about and the impact that he can have not only right now, but long term for this Utah Valley squad. 56 39, 10 38 left to play in regulation. Dawes Amak playing defense against Brandon Willardson. Willardson trying to post up. Dawes keeping his feet on the floor. Willardson with a nice touch over the big man. Fifty-six, forty-one. Utah Valley on top. And Willardson strips Dawes Amak from behind, and he fumbles with the ball. In the post, finally comes up with it, but they're going to call a foul. On Utah Valley's Jaden McClanahan. Utah Valley looking a little sloppy right now. Coach Madsen trying to tighten the screws here. Willardson makes the first free throw, so Willardson comes into the contest. Posts up Dawes Amak, then comes right around to the other side on the defensive side. Strips Dawes Amak with a nice defensive play, comes in, and now makes both free throws. So a four-point swing, all courtesy of Brandon Willardson. 56-43, Utah Valley only on top by 13. Trey Woodbury looking to catch fire in the latter stages of this ball game. A missed three-pointer from Utah Valley off the screen. Here comes Jordan for Westminster. Miller in the corner. That one comes up short. McCord with the rebound. Trey Woodbury. Dawes Amat calling for it down low. All alone. Nice feed. Nice finish. Fifty-eight forty-three. Willardson goes against Amac. Amac leaning. Willardson lost control, had nowhere to go, throws it out of play. Nine minutes left to play in regulation, 58-43. Wolverines on top. Neal, Amac top of the key. Amac dribbling with it. Gives to Woodbury. Woodbury now with 15, makes a move. 10, step back, three-pointer. That one too short. And they're going to call an offensive foul on Dawes Amac for the push-off. Jared Jordan takes a break for Westminster. Coming back into the game is Remy Torbert. 
And now Willardson again going to the line for the Griffins. Willardson makes another free throw. Five points. Over the last three minutes, Brandon Willardson has made the last five points for the Griffins. The redshirt senior again, 6'8", 210. Willardson and Jared Jordan, two players out of the seven returning for Coach Parrish, who averaged over 10 minutes a game last year. Leafson sits down, and Willardson continues that confidence. Six points tonight. Last six points for Westminster over the last three minutes. 58-45, Trey Woodbury trying to respond. Deep three from Asa McCor. That one too strong. And Utah Valley continues their one-and-done possessions. Heavy drive. Kick back out. Willardson misses. Amac finally gets the rebound. Blaze Neal coming across the line here for Utah Valley. Amac, Willardson shimmies off of him. This is a pivotal time in the contest. Westminster gaining more confidence as the time continues. With another three-pointer right there, case in point. Branson Blackner ignites a fire into the Griffins bench. 58-48, only a 10-point lead for Westminster. We'll see what Coach Madsen has drawn up for his Wolverines when we come back here in Orem, Utah on the WAC Digital Network. Get the breaking news, weather, and traffic you need to know before you go. Wake up to real stories from real people. The news specialists on KSL Today. Mornings made special. I love this view. I love that every time this commercial airs, I get to drink another Mountain Dew. The Green Man Group trying to get this family friend cardboard cutout crowd on their feet and get some energy behind this Wolverines team. They're only up by 10 points, 58 48, under eight minutes to play here in the half. Tip your hats to Coach Parrish's squad for Westminster. They continue to rally and refuse to stop. And honestly, the catalyst over the last five minutes has been Brandon Willardson off the bench, six straight points. Does Amac? That's what you want to see from your big man. Sixty to forty-eight. Beautiful play. As they feed the big fella, in response, Remy Torbert says, "Hey, you know what? You get two, I can get three. Sixty to fifty-one. Dawes Amac needs to get going offensively. Trey Woodbury off the deflection. Utah Valley, 10 on the shot clock. Need to make smart decisions, the Wolverines. Whistles, calls, the ball was in the air. And they're going to call that foul on Braden Johnson, his second personal foul. And another timeout, and we'll take it as well. Utah Valley only up by 9, 60 to 51, and we'll be back after this. Some people see just another local Utah sports app. Oh, wait, what? A local Utah sports app? 
Introducing the new KSL Sports app, powered by kslsports.com, Utah's only all-in local sports app, connecting you with all the action you love, the latest news, insider analysis, podcasts from the pros, and so much more, free, available right now, anywhere you are. Download the free KSL Sports app today from your favorite app store. At UCCU, we do mortgages fast. Seriously fast. Just use your phone or computer to fill out UCCU's super easy mortgage application. And buying or refinancing a home has never been this easy. Seriously fast and super easy. Less than seven minutes to play here in Orem, Utah. The Wolverines trying to Get that energy that they had in the first half back before this second half ends. They're only on top by nine over Westminster. And Westminster has been all over Utah Valley in the last six minutes. Again, the big spark plug coming off the bench was Brandon Willardson. He has six points. Blackner, Torbert both added threes of their own. Jamison Overton had 15 points, but he had four four fouls, which has put him on the bench, and he's a big catalyst. Spark guy and energy guy for this Wolverine squad. Dawes Amak misses the free throw, and he is right behind Overton with 12 points and 10 rebounds. So a double-double again for the big fella. In my honest opinion, they've had a lot of success going from Woodbury to Amak, and I think that they need to continue that going forward here down the stretch. And Dawes Amak had Taylor Miller slip in right behind him. 60 to 53, only a seven point Wolverine lead here. And Coach Parrish starting to get a bigger grin on his face on this Westminster bench. Woodbury passes up the three, elects to go for the harder shot. Don't know how Dawes Amak came up with that rebound, puts it on the floor, goes to the floor, still no whistle. Coach Mark Madsen doesn't know how there's no whistle. Six minutes left to play, 60 to 53. Westminster looking to climb even closer. Griffin's on the floor, Dawes Amak. With the block. Eight on the clock. Torber gets fouled, and he makes the shot inside the three-point line. So an old-school three-point play opportunity. That's Trey Woodbury's fourth personal foul. Torber coming alive. 60 to 55 has an opportunity to bring Westminster within four. And he misses. Don Zimak with the rebound. Tober now with eight points. Miller as well. Darthur. Amak. Amak on the floor. Drives. A lot of contact. Still no whistle. Amak again putting his own rebound back up. Misses. And they're going to call this one out of bounds on Trey Woodbury. Sixty to fifty-five, five twenty left to play. Utah Valley needs to find some sort of defensive stop here. Get a defensive stop, spark that into an offensive play, get their energy back going. Trey Woodbury on the rebound, almost tipped that in. Own goal status. Amac calling for it. Woodbury behind the arc. Less than five to play. Overton now behind the back. And they're going to call a foul against Branson Blackner. 
That'll be his third personal foul. J.J. Overton needs to make these free throws. Overton now 15 points. Still leads the Wolverines 7 to 10 from the floor. One of two from three-point land. Still has yet to make a free throw. 0 for 1 on the night tonight. Three rebounds, one assist. And J.J. misses the free throw. Wolverines this half are shooting 50% from the free throw strike. Five of ten. And make that six of 11. Over to now 16 points. Gives Utah Valley a 61-55 lead here with 440 left to play in regulation. Trey Woodbury with the quick hands. Gets Blackner to touch it last before it goes out of play. Trey Woodbury gets it into Blaze Neal. Overton, now to Woodbury. Neal, Amac calling for it. Neal keeps it. Darther, Woodbury. Darth stops and pops from the paint. Darther now with double figures. Ten points on the on test. Four minutes left to play in regulation. I say regulation because you know what? You never know. It's 2020. 63 55. Less than four left to play. And a foul called against Latre Darthur. That'll be his third personal foul. Under four, immediate timeout. Things are getting crazy here in Orem, Utah. Don't go away. A wild finish set up for you on the WAC Digital Network. It's not always easy being the exception. Here at Intermountain Healthcare, our doctors have experience treating young athletes, professional athletes, and the athlete next door. We treat everyday injuries, sports injuries, concussions, total joint replacements, and everything in between. Come visit our board certified physicians and surgeons here at Intermountain Healthcare's Utah Valley Orthopedic and Sports Medicine Clinic. We're committed to keeping you moving. I love that every time this commercial airs, I get to drink another Mountain Dew. <sighs> coach Mark Madsen trying to coach up his squad. They cling to a 63 to 55 lead here in the UCCU Center. And as we were in the timeout, we saw the officials come over to the scores table and they motioned that there was a, a double technical foul, I believe, against on Latre Darthur and on Remy Torbert. So Torbert makes that first free throw. And he misses the second. Amac gives way to Neal, 63-56. 3.45 left to play. Darthur steps into a three-pointer. Yes, just what Utah Valley needed. Five straight points for Latrade Darthur for Utah Valley. 66-56, the lead back up to double digits. 
And the cardboard cutouts breathe a sigh of relief. Nice play from Andrews. Couldn't find it. Dawes Amak has the ball stripped from behind. Willardson saying it went off of him. left to play. Utah Valley on top. Blaze Neal cuts to his left, gives it back to Woodbury. Over to now with it. Back to Neal. Amac. Neal. Overton. With 10 on the shot clock. Cuts to his left. Back to Neal. Neal pump fakes. Drives with six. Five, Woodbury with four on the clock, too short. Amac trying to get it. No call from the referees. 2.40 left to play, 66-56. Westminster with the ball. Open lane for Jordan. And Jordan cuts through the defense of Utah Valley to make it an eight-point game, 66-58. 2.30 left to play. Amac calling for it, going against Willardson. Now double team gives way to Trey Woodbury in the lane. He gets fouled. Referee says no shot. And Woodbury will go to the line to shoot. And that will go against Branson Blackner. Woodbury looking for the double digits. And he gets it right there with that free throw. Ten points. Three of three from the charity stripe, one of four from distance, and three of ten from the field, along with four rebounds and five assists. And he makes that one. So 11 points now for Trey Woodbury. Darthurd, Woodbury, Amac, and Overton, your Wolverines in double digits. Jarrett, Jordan with the reverse layup. 68-60, less than two minutes to play. Westminster not going away. Blaze Neal. Man defense. 10 seconds left on the clock. Neal puts his head down, drives, contact, lots of contact, still no whistle. Neal Composed with the finish, kiss off the glass. 130 left to play. Willardson steps into a three. Nice rotation. Comes up short. Darthard with the rebound for Utah Valley. 10-point lead. Have to think that a big Utah Valley bucket here could probably ice it. Woodbury just milking the clock. Ten seconds now, under a minute to play in the game. Woodbury now with five. Kneeled with four, with three, drives, gets the contact, and he'll go to the free throw line, bailed out with two seconds left on the shot clock. Blaze Neal tonight, seven points. Three of six from the floor. And make that eight points. And he is one for two from the charity strike. Taylor Miller coming into the game for the Griffins. And Blackner will sit. Coach Mark Madsen looking on, surveying the scene. Nine points for Blaze Neal. Utah Valley surviving tonight. A little nervy here in the waning minutes. And Trey Woodbury will foul out. Asa McCord checks in for Woodbury. Woodbury's night is through. 11 points, 3 of 10 from the floor, 1 of 4 from three-point land, and a perfect 4 for 4 from the charity stripe. Four rebounds to add to five assists for Woodbury. And Joey Andrews continues his impressive night tonight for the Griffins. 16 points for Andrews. 
Five of six from the charity stripe. And tack on another. 72-62 Wolverines with a 10-point lead. 47 seconds left. And they're going to foul J.J. Overton very quickly. And that foul is going to go against Taylor Miller. So this final 46 seconds could stretch out to be a little bit longer. Jamison Overton to the line to shoot two. And Overton tonight only been there twice, shooting 50%. Comes up short. Overton tonight, 16 points, 7 to 10 from the floor, 1 of 2 from the free throw line, and 1 of 2 from distance. And Overton misses both free throws, so a good smart foul. Decision from Westminster. Can they cash in on the offensive side? Deep three here from Westminster. Rims off, still in the Griffins' possession. Clock continues to run. No foul being the call from the Utah Valley bench. Banks with the running floater. Excuse me, Torbert. Torbert with the bucket, 72-64, 27 seconds left. And we'll take a quick break as well. You're watching Utah Valley men's basketball on the WAC Digital Network. I know we all want this COVID thing to end, and it will. The restrictions in place now won't last forever. Smart people are figuring out how to get vaccines to everyone, but it will take a little longer. Until then, we need to recommit and finish strong. COVID won't stop spreading on its own. We have to stop spreading it. Meet with friends outside, social distance, and most of all, wear a mask. We're all in. Are you? Twenty-seven seconds left. Seventy-two sixty-four. The Wolverines on top of Westminster. Westminster, their Division II opponent, coming in from Salt Lake City, getting ready for their Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference to begin this weekend. Had a rough outing against BYU last week. And now that they have their full squad together, really giving Utah Valley all they can handle tonight. Utah Valley. Not the best performance that we've seen from them and not the best basketball that we've seen so far from them. We know that they have tremendous upside. Again, we're still waiting for the full Utah Valley squad to be ready to play. Utah Valley missing a couple, couple players as well. J.J. Overton now to inbound for the Wolverines. And he calls a timeout. We'll keep it here as well. And crazier things have happened, but it would take a pretty big miracle for Westminster to pull something off here, either to force overtime or to come away with the victory. But Coach Madsen is going to talk it over with his squad. Again, Coach Madsen in his second season as head coach. One of the only, if not the only, school and program right now in the country. 16 new faces to the program. Busy, busy offseason for Coach Madsen and his staff. Trying to put together a winning formula here at Utah Valley. And they're 27.3 seconds away from their second win on the season and going to two and one. Overton gets the inbound to Neald and Neald is finally fouled with 24.3 seconds left. Taking a step back and looking ahead for the Wolverines. Again, we mentioned this is the only game slated for them this week. Have some good R&R &R time to rest and recoup as Neal makes that free throw. Get ready for another in-state rival, Southern Utah. 
Coming in from down south, Cedar City, courtesy of I-15. As Neal makes both. 74-64, 10-point lead for the Wolverines. More comfortable breathing room. And trying not to commit a foul. Inadvertently, Blaze Neal commits a foul. And that'll be his first personal. Sending Taylor Miller to the line. And Westminster, again, we talked about them starting their Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference schedule already. And they're going to have a busy weekend. On Friday, they get set to face off against MSU Denver and then Saturday against CCU. And Westminster, if they play like this, continuing further on in their season, they're going to be quite successful. Leading scores tonight for Westminster. Andrews with 17. Torbert and Jordan with 11 apiece. And Miller with 10. Willardson and Banks with 6 so far as well. J.J. Overton calls another timeout. More smothering, impressive defense there by Westminster. We'll take a quick break and we'll step aside. Join the Wolverine Club, a simple message with a major impact. Ghana's first Winter Games skeleton. Support student-athletes like former Utah Valley University track star, graduate, and current Olympian Akwasi Frimpong. Yes, South Korea, here I come. Akwasi was the first person to represent his nation of Ghana at the Winter Olympics in the skeleton. Support the next UVU Olympian by joining the Wolverine Club today. Jamison Overton trying to throw a touchdown pass to Latre Darthard. And Darthur was being held by uh, Branson Blackner. That would have been an automatic first down, 15-yard penalty. And if we're playing NFL rules, spot of the foul, that would have been uh, first and goal for Utah Valley. But they're going to call an intentional foul. Because they were impeding his right to the ball to score. So Latre Darthard will have a, a very silent and very alone free throw attempt, which he will miss. 74-66, 18 18.8 seconds left in regulation. Darthard trying to add on one more, and he does. 14 points for Latre Darthard tonight. Right behind J.J. Overton for most points in the contest for the Wolverines. Five of eight from the floor and four of six from the free throw line. Overton to inbound with 18.8 seconds left. Looking for some help. Finally gets it into Blaze Neal. And he's fouled with 17.5 seconds. 75-66. Wolverines still on top. And Neald will go to the free throw line. Neald's stat line for you so far, 11 points, 3 of 6 from the floor. 1 of 4 from 3-point land and 4 of 5 from the free throw line. Make that 5 of 6 and 12 points for Blaze Neald. The junior guard out of Lehigh, Utah, courtesy of BYU. 13 points for Blaze Neald. 
And a reverse layup on the other side for Taylor Miller. <laughs> Showing some fantastic athleticism. And Westminster continues to not go away. And a timeout's called on the floor, and we'll take it with them. 11.4. We'll be back. I'm here to ask you a question. Are you all in? Our caregivers are tired. You're tired. The pandemic has worn on everyone. We believe that in order to have a healthy economy and healthy towns and cities, we need to have healthy people who live and work in them. We're all in so our communities can live the healthiest lives possible. Are you all in with us? J.J. Overton with 11.4 seconds, looking for some help, finds Jaden McClanahan. McClanahan to Latre Darthur, and they're going to call a foul. I believe that would be the fifth foul on Joey Andrews. They were able to run about nine seconds off the clock. So eight seconds flat left in the contest. Joey Andrews was not intimidated to play any Division I opponent tonight. 17 points, 5 of 8 from the floor, 1 of 3 from distance, and 6 of 7 from the charity stripe. So hats off to, to Joey Andrews, a terrific, valiant night tonight for the Griffins. The trade to Arthur, makes the first free throw. And Arthur again. And another bang from Taylor Miller. My goodness, where has that been all night? Taylor Miller with the last five points. 15 points in total for the Griffins. And that's how this contest is going to end. 79-71 to 71 is the final score. The Wolverines escape. Westminster gave Utah Valley all they can handle. And Coach Parrish is very happy with his squad's performance tonight. Very gritty. Utah Valley gets the victory, and they improve to 2-1 and one on the season, and they'll take a week's rest before they get ready to host Southern Utah University right here in this very arena. Final score, 79-71. Wolverines on top of the Griffins for our courtside producer, engineer, and magician Ben Schroeder for Jason Erickson, Clint Berg, and Jared Sumption. And all of our hardworking staff and crew, I am Brandon Crow saying so long and good night from Orem, Utah. We'll see you next week.